Welcome to How's That Work? This is Mrs. Foster here, and we're going to go ahead today, and we are going to look at Newton's Second Law. What is Newton's Second Law? How does that law work? That's what we're going to look at today. Now, the fundamentals of Newton's Second Law is basically that it is dealing with force, mass, and acceleration, and how those different parts are proportional to one another. To put it into a sentence, the acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied. So all of these things kind of depend on each other and that's what we're gonna see today. So first we're gonna look at the units that we're gonna use because we are going to, after we learn how this law works, how the different formulas that we can set up, uh, mathematical formulas, equations set up, we need to make sure we understand what units go with what. So for force, know that it is always Newtons. Mass is kilograms. And acceleration is meter per second per second. Um, we could also write that m slash s squared, but I will be using this meters per second per second today. Okay, so to understand Newton's second law, we have to remember FAM. All right, so F is for force, acceleration is A, and M is mass. And we are going to use this triangle to understand the different equations that we will use for Newton's second law. So just a reminder, Force is, has the unit of Newtons. Acceleration is meters per second per second. And mass is the kilogram. Now, you're going to ask me, how are we going to use this triangle to remember the equations? Well, we're going to use it by covering up the F. When we cover up the F, we know that force, because that's the one we covered up, equals mass times, times acceleration. Now you see here, I have an A and an M. Since it's multiplication, you can have these in any order. So for the triangle, I'd like to have the F, A, M, FAM, or a FAM, or together. That reminds me what goes where. But when we write out the formula, oftentimes you'll see it like this, force equals mass times acceleration. Okay, so force equals mass times acceleration. So I'm going to show you how we get acceleration or the equation for the acceleration. So we have force equals mass times acceleration. We want the A by itself. So we're going to divide by M on both sides. When you are working with equations and you have an equal sign, if you do something to one side, you have to make sure you do it to the other side. So you'll see on both sides, I'm going to divide by M. And when you divide M by M, you basically get one over one and one times anything is itself. So basically these two things cancel each other out. And what that leaves us with is A equals F over M. So these cancel each other out. So we have A equals F over M. So let's go back to our triangle. So if I do not know acceleration, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna cover up that A and we then see that acceleration, the thing we didn't know, sorry about that. Um, we see that A, the acceleration that we didn't know equals F divided by M. So here we have F divided by M. So these that are up and down, we divide, across we multiply. So if we don't know A, we know then we divide F divided by M or force divided by mass which is exactly what we saw in this last, A equals F divided by M. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and now look for mass. I know that F equals M mass times acceleration. So if we have force equals mass times acceleration, now we want to get this M by itself. So how do we get that M by itself? We're gonna go ahead and take A divided by A. And if we do that to this side, Remember, whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we also have to do to the other side. 
So since we're dividing by A on this side, we're gonna divide by A on this side. So what happens is these two A's cancel each other out and um, just leave the M. So we look over to this side, we have M, M equals F divided by A. And that's what we had here. M, because these cancel each other out, equals F divided by A. So let's go ahead and look at our triangle. Here we have our triangle. And remember when I said, when we have this triangle, F A M, force, acceleration, mass. When we go across, we times, but when we go up and down, we divide. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover up my M because that's the thing I'm not sure of. That's the thing I don't have. So I cover up my M and I get force divided by acceleration. Mass equals force divided by acceleration. Okay, so here is the triangle. This triangle helps you with Newton's second law and kind of explains how we get the equations and how we can figure out mathematically what force, mass, and acceleration is. If you don't know force, you cover the force up, you have acceleration times mass. If you don't know acceleration, you cover that up, and you have force divided by mass. If you don't know mass, you cover it up and you have force divided by acceleration. So let's review that. Here we see the triangle and it tells us this is the original equation that we had that is well known for Newton's second law. Force equals mass times acceleration. But because we have this equation, we have seen how we can then, uh, divide out and manipulate this to change it to get our other parts of this family. We can take um, this side, divide by A, and we get M equals force divided by acceleration, or we take it and divide by M, and we get acceleration equals force divided by mass. And this triangle helps us remember that all we have to do is cover up whatever one we are looking for and it will tell us exactly what we need to do to figure out the different equations and to figure out force, mass, and acceleration. So now that we know how to do that triangle, I actually have made a second video that can help you check for understanding and practice these equations, these mathematical equations, and find those different things, force, mass, and acceleration in the next video. And you can find it by that video by clicking on the box here. All right, I hope you have a great day. And that's how Newton's second law works.